Okay. I'm going to go through the steps. Uh, very simple, very easy to install the unofficial Fallout 3 patch, the updated version for Fallout 3. Okay. I already have the Nexus mod page open where you can download uh, the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. I'm going to open up FOMM. It's an old tool. Okay, here it's asking me, what do I want? Fallout 3 or New Vegas? I'm doing Fallout 3. So I'm just opening this, opening this up to get it ready. So disregard everything you see here. This is a very old game from years ago. This is all going to be reinstalled. So just pay no attention to that. So we're going to go to the download section. Okay, there's two, there's two files you could download. One is for the, the people who are not familiar with modding or uh, installing mods by hand or um, uh, understanding file paths and so forth or who have never modded before okay um, for most people it seems to work some people seem to have a problem um, I can't answer why some people are having a problem, but um, one thing that's been reported um, a long time ago by many people who were a lot better than, at modding than me, um, that you should never install, whether it be Fallout 3 or Fallout 4 or New Vegas, to your C drive, meaning Fallout installation directory if you're doing it through Steam or if you're doing it through the box CD, DVD version. Do not install to C program files 86 Fallout 3 or if it's Steam, you're going to, the file path would be Fallout, uh, Fallout 3 through Steam, Steam apps, common, um, uh, and then Fallout, name the game. All right, you should always install it. Create, if you only have a C drive, then make a game, make a folder, and name it Games. Um, stay away from the program files. Only because of the UAC, um, the user control um, uh, account. Uh, basically, it's like a little... Windows protection thing. It, it'll it, when you first buy a PC or build your own PC, until you disable it, it's always going to pop up in your face because it thinks there's something wrong. Um, if you have multiple hard drives, then install it to a different hard drive and do it that way. But need, needless to say, we're gonna. Um, you could either install the this one here, which is an exe file. Basically, it's just like installing a program. You download it, you double click it, and it runs like you were installing a graphics program or an audio program. And it installs the patch for you in the, in the proper directory. If you want to go and use the... Um, the other version, which is basically um, loose files, and this is what I'm going to show. Without using a manager, I'm going to download manually. As you can see, this one here, the EXC version, which is marked for noob, 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 newbie friendly, it's only manual, so it's going to automatically install. If you're going to go this route, download manually. Okay, my computer is a little old here that I'm working on, so bear with me. <clears throat> I'll try and trim this down if I can. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. All right, as you could see down here, it says Fallout, unof 
updated unofficial Fallout 3 patch mod manager version. Okay, you're going to pick your um, folder where you want to download to. Okay, I created a folder for all my mods. Okay, don't ask about the naming scheme on a folder. It's my own weird way of knowing which mod is ready to be installed, which is not, what is a tool, or what is, you know, not a tool. So we're going to go to, I already created a folder, so I'm going to download here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to download it. And it's going to take a little bit of time to download. So while that downloads, okay, I'm going to go back to Fallout Mod Manager. And I'm going to open up the Package Manager. Now what you see on the left pane here in Fallout Mod Manager, these are all the plugins. Okay, as you can see, there's no check marks. Other than a few couple that I've already started to install, the DLCs, the unofficial Fallout 3 patch. Um, and, uh, but like I said, everything's being reinstalled clean um, because I basically foobarred my game a long time ago. But that's neither here nor there. So now this is the package manager. This is where all your mods are, whether they be pre made faux mod packages. Or, okay, you could select from these options here, okay? So let's see if th this thing is still downloading. Now, basically, if I were to select, say, the Firefly, Firefly Ranch, okay? I would select it and then click activate. I'm not ready to do that yet um, because there's, there is a, an order that you should follow kind of a best practices. Um, uh, at least that's the way I do things um, and what I've learned from other people in the past. But basically, you would click activate. You would get all your dialogues, whether it's the overwrite files or um, what options do you want to install if it's running um, a script with uh, the Fallout script ex extender. You, you'll know that when it's um, uh, when that pops up. But anyway, so let's go here to unofficial Fallout 3 patch. Okay, now this is what I just downloaded, so I'm going to, I use WinRAR, you could use uh, 7-Zip. Um, now all I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to extract. And it's going to create its own folder. Now, mind you, this file here, provided that you have all the DLCs for Fallout 3, Anchorage, Pit, Broken Steel, Point Lookout, Zeta, if you have all the DLCs, then this will work for all of them. One file that's been merged rather than having one patch for every DLC, which is great. Reduces the amount of plugins that the game has to load. Now, if you've already got a pre installed game, as some have, uh, one person has mentioned, they're worried about files being overwritten. Um, 
that could happen. Um, my suggestion would be to um, disable your mods, whether they be 10 or 100. It's going to be a pain in the rear end, but um, if you don't want the unofficial Fallout 3 patch to overwrite files, be it the body meshes, armor, weapons, uh, house mods, uh, beauty mods, uh, hair, whatever. Um, you want just the main Fallout 3 and the DLCs um, active. Deactivate all other mods. Okay? Install the unofficial Fallout 3 patch. Then you can reactivate all your patches in whatever order you choose to do it at. But if you're going to install like um, NMC's um, uh, enhancement package, which is basically uh, a lot of textures, no plug-in, a great mod. Um, it just makes things a lot look a lot better, a lot more vibrant. Um, I can't run the game because the game is not set up to run. But, um, you know, then you would install that. Do all your textures. Then your, you know, um, whether it's, be, if you're going to use weather mods. Then you, you know, go down the line. But um, that's what I, that's the way I'm, I've done it. And that's what I would suggest. Because... There could be an instance where things will be overwritten. Um, and once you get into game, it won't look right. You're going to think you have problems. But basically all it did was change one file for another. That's all it did. Didn't break the game. Um... The only thing you possibly could end up with pink armor because the texture is is not reading properly from the from the plugin and, and uh, that's why I would say disable all plugins before you activate the unofficial Fallout 3 patch. Um, it is quite a big file, but um, it's almost done here. I need to get my new computer built so that things wouldn't be this slow. Push me, I'm coming. Yep, I smoke. Bad, bad habit. Don't do that, kids. Anyway, um, we're almost done here. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Okay. So now we can close this. Okay, here's the file that it just unpackaged. Okay, here's your ESM with the textures, sound, the readmes, and all the meshes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this. Now we're going to go back to the package manager that's still open. And we're going to go to Create from Folder. If you don't see it there, use the drop down Create from Folder. Here's the pop up. Now it's already selected the folder where I have all my mods. So I'm going to. Let's see, I don't have the entire folder selected, so. Come on. So now we're going to go to, uh, let's see, where is it here, where is it here, uh, why am I, okay, here, whoa, 
Okay. Now here's the one we just downloaded and extracted. Okay. Now if you want to do like, uh, well, I tend to be a little anal when it comes to stuff like this. So what I normally do is um, I'll create another folder, data. Take all these and just drag them into here. Because if you look at your Fallout 3 or whatever Fallout game you're playing, everything goes to Fallout 3 data and then um, your meshes, your sounds, your textures, and readmes or whatever. So now we're going to select the top level folder. Don't worry about everything else. The program will handle it. Click OK. Okay. Now it's creating the FOMOD. It's a very simple FOMOD. There's no special um, pop-ups or anything like that. It's just what the program Fallout Mod Manager with pa Package Manager uses to package up the, the mod um, if it's not a pre-made faux mod by the mod author it's basically what the program uh, knows to read this is very different from the the Nexus mod manager um, this goes back many years uh, but a lot of people still use it for Fallout 3 because it's tried, true, tested, and it works very well. But, again, you, you know, you have to familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with it because it's not simply click a button, click this button, and everything magically appears. Um... You know, you have to take a few steps to make sure the file structure is right. And from my purposes, this is why I create the data folder. Because within a data folder, you have your textures. You have your sound, your meshes, readme files. Um, as you can see up here, this is a picture for... Um, the uh, Firefly Ranch, which is a player home. Um, the mod author, you know, chose to put in a picture. Um, I don't want to mess with the process right now, but um, if I were to select the Firef Firefly Ranch, and before I wanted to install it, I could click on a picture, and it would open up a bigger picture to show you you know, what the mod author wants you to see. Um, so that's basically, you know, everything that's packaged up when you're going through this process. And um, it works well, but again, you have to make sure the file structure is right. You have to make sure the textures are in the textures folder, meshes in a mesh folder, sound and sound um the readme's don't have to be in a folder um uh with the unofficial fallout 4 patch it was chosen to done to to be done that way which is perfectly fine it won't harm the game it won't stop the game from playing um it's just putting the readme files into a separate folder so if you wanted to go through them, um, whether you've already started playing the game or before, you know exactly, okay, the readmes are in this folder, and it's marked unofficial Fallout 4 patch, the updated version, um, which is not a bad idea. Um, with other mods that do have a readme, as you can see down here, some some of these mods I added these from the mod pages itself. 
Um, but if they do have a README, you could click on View README, and in the uh, folder where all the mods are, I mean, where, where the game is installed, um, let me see how much more I can tax my system here. My E drive. Fallout 3. And I also do have some Steam games installed here also. But this is the main Fallout game directory. Alright. There's some readme here. As you'll see the FOS files. But then if you go into the data folder. Okay. You can see pictures, all the plugins, um, the uh, info, readme files. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of readme files here. And most mods end up putting them here. So it just makes it a little bit harder to find the readme file if you wanted to go look for it like this without having to go through the mod manager itself. But each mod that does have a readme file, all you have to do is select it. Whether you're installing or uninstalling, doesn't matter, just select it. If it has a readme file, you click on it, it'll open up the readme file so you don't have to go digging for it. Now this is kind of going slow for me right now because I've got this running, I've got my browser open, um, and I'm running uh, my uh, Camtasia uh, recorder as well as another uh, screen recorder that I have open. Um, so, and as you could see from my, my little uh, gadget here, I'm using every single core out of the four cores, almost maxed out my RAM. And I'm running a Core 2 quad at 3 gigahertz. So, I mean, it's not a slow poke, but uh, it's seen better days. <laughs> okay, we're just about done here. <clears throat> Okay, so let's see, where did it go? Okay, went all the way down here to the bottom. Okay. So now we have the unofficial Fallout 3 patch, um, the mod manager version. It's been um, prepared and ready. And I already have the folder open. So, let's see. Because I already have it installed. But, I just want to show you. More than likely, it's all the way at the bottom. Uh, let's expand this a little bit. Here we go. This is the one we just downloaded and um, prepared with uh, Fallout Mod Manager. Now, what I'm going to do is, just to give you an idea, I also have 7-Zip installed. So, I'm going to open the archive to show you. Everything is here. Meshes, readme, sound, textures, um, and the ESM patch. Okay, so now if we minimize this, come back to here, all we would have to do is click on activate. Now, here's my uh, warnings, and um, this is why I said earlier that if you do have all your mods 
if all of these mods had a had a tick mark like these up here do, okay, this could, um, if you wanted to look at the file structure of, um, uh, where is it? Uh, this one? Here. No, not that one. Which one was it now? Ooh. Mods. Here we go. Now, if you were to, you could do it this way too. Or before you even do this, you could look at it while it's still in a folder before you go through this whole process. Okay, if you wanted to, you could look at right what textures are being replaced. You could see that it's replacing architecture, characters, clutter, creatures, dungeon pieces, interface, and landscape. Now, if you have any mods that alter any of these items in the game, um, they will be overwritten. The meshes, these are all your meshes. You could see there's a lot here, from weapons to dungeons, creatures, clutter, armor, ammo. Uh, so stuff will get overwritten, as well as sounds. Okay, so... This is why you should install this patch before you, not after you install other mods. Like, for example, uh, um, the uh, Apocalypse Armory. Now, that's an old mod. Uh, or Caliber. Um, Mothership uh, Zeta Crew. Okay, that's another mod. Um, or... Uh, if you're using Imp's more complex needs or uh, Mart's mutant mod, um, it may overwrite some of those files. Or if you're doing, you know, like I showed you before, the Firefly Ranch. Um, don't ask me why I'm having a hard time saying that. Anyway, um, some of those files are taken from vanilla assets some are not but um whatever assets that are incorporated into those other mods they could be overwritten here and this is your warning okay now being that i already installed the unofficial fallout 3 patch the updated version um it's telling me that it's going to overwrite a file Okay, and that file is already installed. So, I could either say no to all, or yes to folder, yes to mod, or no to same. So, basically, this is where you're going to have to make a decision, whoever is watching this video. If you're upgrading your unofficial Fallout 3 patch, you're going to have to uninstall the older one first. However you, whatever mod manager you use, whether it be Fallout Mod Manager, and Nexus Mod Manager, or the, the um, mod manager that, uh, um, that's the newest one uh, that's out, um, one way or the other, you're going to have to uninstall it. And then basically go through the same process of what you just saw here um i'm going to i'm going to say yes to all because it's going to re it's going to do the same thing all over again um and it really doesn't matter because the game is not ready to be replayed um as you can see nothing is active the only thing that's active is the DLCs, the main ESM, um, and the unofficial Fallout 3 patch. That's it. No other mods have been activated. Well, I should say, they're not even installed. Um, because I had to go through all the mods, look for any updates, if there are any um I did a lot of hand um, um, additions to uh, 
body meshes where tattoos um, came into play on some characters. <coughs> uh, basically, the player character, follow character. Um, there were um, other texture files that I downloaded a long time ago that had, you know, tattoos or um, uh, I changed the, uh, the, uh, um, to the type three, uh, body style, um, there was one mod that gave you, um, smaller hands, uh, for the female character. So I did a lot of that stuff, and that was all done by hand using um, the GEC FO3 edit at the time um, just to correct for file path. Um, you know, I used whatever I needed to do to make sure <coughs> all the tools available, I should say, to make sure that everything would show up in game properly. So that's basically why I went through every single mod that I want to use, got rid of a lot of mods that I no longer want, some that were completely um, uh, abandoned years ago and are really broken mods right from the beginning. Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot that I did, uh, and, um, I'm just about ready to start the reinstall process of activating, uh, reinstalling the mods fresh. Uh, I updated, 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 I'm having a hard time talking today. I updated, uh, to the latest FOS version. Um, I even updated, uh, the Fallout Mod Manager. Um, I'm just more comfortable with it. Um, many people have found that they've run into problems with the, the Nexus Mod Manager. Um, at times it doesn't properly install all the, all the proper textures and meshes and so forth. Um... And uh, you would end up having to do a lot by hand. This mod manager here, as old as it is, it still works great for Fallout 3. Um, uh, and it does a good job of uh, putting together the package. Um, you know, creating and compressing the foam mod, making it ready to install. Um, and, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm still old school and, uh, learning to use some of the newer tools, but right now, um, it's going, as you can see, it's installing the foam mod that I just showed you, um, here. So right now it's installing this foam mod that the package manager put together. So, we'll let this run and uh, I'll be back after a little bit of uh, creative editing. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can, basically on the fly. Okay, it's now completely installed. You'll get this message, and it'll tick the box, and here it is again. So now um, I would have to move this up 
he, here, and um, and that's it. It's done. All right. After some creative editing, uh, I'll have it posted.